Gerese mi lukor. Empolongo la baka gerese mu ilukor. Was a simple man. Ara etonga na la pata na tai tai. Very simple. Pata na chot. Very humble. Do iya makina. But he had integrity and was highly respected. Onye ara etonga na la yongo ngono la yong tai da. Let me tell you one thing. Kota na limone si ukurdo pe. The most gracious and the most honored people in the world were very humble. If you looked at the man who we all follow the Son of God, Jesus Christ, he could have come up from the heavens with the thunder and lightning, with all the trumpets, but he was humble to come out of a manger. He grew up as a very simple man. And he served with the humility and the, the functions of being a very simple man. If you look at a man like Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, very humble man. If you look at a man like Mahatma Gandhi from India, was a very simple man. If you looked at a man like Nelson Mandela, was a very humble man. If you looked at a man like Martin Luther, uh, a man like Martin Luther King, Junior from United States of America, very humble man. So the Lord has taught us to be simple people. You can see the man that we have come here today to pay respect. Was a man who was simple. Was a man who was simple. One day, when we were fighting coal, he came. And he said, I have brought potatoes. To give to the Arab boys. He came driving his pickup. And said, give them to the boys. He knew that these boys were fighting for peace. Every day he would come and he would always bring potatoes and potatoes and food. Let me tell you one thing. One time he brought medicine. All this was an initiative to ensure that Teso gains regains peace and let me tell you one very important thing when Toto was talking he said this was a man who had the capacity to network he had the connectivity he could even go to Europe, to Europe, to UK, and stand with the Queen and introduce his wife to the Queen. Apera lo ste chati bolaya ginada osora itodiar ake mojo ake pero na jai Queen. He had integrity. Aja skira aya perani. He had honesty. Ora tumala muno no. Let me tell you one thing. Kona galibo kire chebore. One time when we were working with the President. Adoba paare jaya swam kire President. Because Bishop Ilukor was a man who believed that you cannot work against the state because the state is the provider of service to, services to the people. And he worked with President Museveni. He was a senior advisor to the president. One time the president gave him money. And he never wanted to hold the money as they say.
when the money was given specifically for payment of certain things. I think it was about 50 million shillings. No, it was about 300 million shillings. There was a balance of 48 million shillings. He took 48 million shillings back to the president and handed it back to him. This had never happened in the state house. It was Bishop Ilukor who showed that Iteso are very honest people. state house. Bishop Ilukor was very strict. He never wanted to take things lightly. And if he wanted, he would tell you without missing his words that you are a bad man. He would tell you as it is, as it were. He would not, never, never, he would call a spade a spade. A spade, a spade, a spade. Now, he was also a man who believed in unity and cohesion. I see now people talking about peace and unity. There is nobody who has preached the principles of unity in Teso more than Bishop Ilukor. When the UPA was in the bush, this has already been talked about. He would put his life at risk. He loved the people more than he loved himself. He never he, he actually had almost two or three suits in his life. He never took off the collar usually. He loved the church. Bishop Kenese Milukor was a peace builder. Our being here today is a testimony of a man who has lived beyond his time and has left a legacy. Let me tell you one thing. The message we must continue to stretch and to spread to our people, especially the young people. Is the message of building unity and working together.